तंसर्वूतरिदन ओ मुनिमाश्मी तवैवाश्मी न जिमा तया विना चरण भक्तियान प्रपन्ना बृंदे नुमस्ते चरणारबिंद बंदे Now our subject is so hard, very hard. So I requested you all to hear this part, this tattva katha, high and sweet katha, powerful katha, very careful, very careful. I know some of these devotees will hear, and after my departure. They will keep in cold fire, but don't do so. Don't keep it in cold fire. Never and never. Just to try to repeat and repeat by mind what discussion is going on, and if anything else will come in your mind, just after hearing Hari Katha and repeating that thing. Then it may be that it will go out of your heart. In the evening, before in the evening, before going to sleep, you can remember all these things and try to make it yours. Have given for you, so you should try. Do daily. What Maharaj tell? What Maharaj tell? Get that day of this. Try to note down your heart. So we are discussing very high thing. We are told up to now, especially Shuddha Sattva Visheshatma, Prem Sujan Samvyapa, Ruchvi Chitnam Asin of very very high. i think that there are so rare devotees who can explain all these things very rare in this world so you should try to he are very very careful bhakti is very rare that bhakti which we follow it not nirguna Nirupadhi, but so padhi. Very rare can practice. Oh, that bhakti, bhav bhakti, raganuga bhakti. I want that you should enter in that. So by examples we will clarify gracefully the barometer of. भक्ति इज उत्तमा भक्ति डिफिनेशन अन्याभिलाषिता शून्य ज्ञान कर्म आदि अनाप्रितम आनुकूल्यन कृष्णानुशील भक्ति रुद्ध ओ बॉय श्रीनिवास इस उदेश्यंड पेन एक्सप्लेन इट्स मिले स्टैंड अप एंड Don't make me back. So some. I tomorrow don't do that. Oh my God, not even I'm not sure. Why don't you know so long ago? चक्षुरुन मेरे तम जेना तुझ में शीघ्र वेनु सुगुरी फसास में
<coughs> to speak verse anya bilas itasunyam gyana karma jana vidam anukulyena krishnanu shilanam anukulyena not anukulyena 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 krishnanu shilanam bhakti rutama mm. so this is the definition of bhakti given by shri rupa goswami the constant unbroken flow of endeavors of the body mind words and bhavs which is meant for the benefit of krishna here what does it mean for the benefit of krishna gurudev gives a very nice example that chanur and mustak were fighting with krishna and krishna was and krishna was very happy he was fighting with them right but chanur mustak they did not have any devotional mood in their heart and on the other hand when mother yasoda was chasing krishna with his stick krishna he was very afraid but mother yasoda was doing it for his benefit then 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 it, next it says this bhakti should not be covered by gyan there are three types of gyan tatpardata gyan this is gyan concerning bhagavan shri krishna then tomparata gyan tomparata gyan this is knowledge concerning the swarup of the jeev these two types of knowledge are to be accepted but the third type jeev brahm aikya gyan which is the knowledge of oneness with brahma from is to be rejected then it says also you should not you should not be covered by any type of karma or adi adi is like um mystic yoga and other things like mood things like this this bhakti should also be devoid of any other desire except the desire to completely satisfy krishna very good explanation and what picture one of the session to i want that all boys should be like i became very happy that our teacher prabhu Oh, he is good. He is teaching good. I think that there will be jewel in future. All these students. So, I'm very happy. I want that all boys should be like very strong. Always remember one thing, Brahmachari Jasanyasi. That oh, that snake that I told, poisonous, black. Oh, he should not come here and black and white. Always, <laughs> I fear from that. It had attacked also to Narad, but Narad was very tricky. He he ran away and he couldn't oh, went to back couldn't go to Vrindavan. Oh, and that could not go. This snake could not go. Otherwise, oh, he will catch anyone. now this uttama bhakti about we had discussed so many things so many things now i want that you should also know by example perhaps you have heard or not i don't know any indian boy or must he know they know how this thing. there was a oh, high class of Rishi Dadhichi, Dadhichi Muni. When Bhitasur became very furious and began to dress try over the thing, then Indra went to Brahma. What to do now? Oh, don't hesitate. You should at once go to Dadhichi Muni and ask his bow. He should give him in his lifetime. How it will? Oh, you should go. He knows everything. 
He went. Indra went there. And he prayed that we want your <coughs> bow. He began to laugh. Oh, all demigods like so. Self-interest. They don't know how much pain will be to me. Anyhow, <coughs> he was ready and he told that you should bring so many cows. <coughs> and he took yogurt and chini, sugar, and he <coughs> whole body. And cows began to <coughs> until only bone was there. How this painful, but it is. But we don't take as a bhakt, like a karmi, sat karmi. This is sat karmi, not bhakti. He may have to go to have heavenly planet, not more than that. You know, there was also a Shivi king. Oshivi was doing so many Aswat made jagga. And Indra saw that, oh, he will take my all kingdom and he will be Indra and I will have to go. He wanted to disturb. He became like a Baj Pakshi, eagle, very powerful. And he made Dharma Raj a pigeon. And pigeon was flying, running, and Indra was falling. That artificial pigeon went in the life of Shivi, and he was trembling and taking breath, high breath. Oh, at once, Baj Pakshi came and told that, oh, this is my mill, joy. You should give this or you should give joy. He told that I cannot give. I may give my body, my everything, but I will not return back because I am Saranagar. I uh, he surrendered. So I can give you anything. What you want? Oh, you should give your flesh meat or equal to the weight of that pigeon. And at once a scale was brought. He, got, he took so much flesh <coughs> from his thigh and it was given on the scale, but it came down. Then he cut his whole, his leg and he, even not come. He, then he cut down his another, his two hands also, but even it was not coupled. Then he he himself was standing on this scale. At this, O Dharmaraj, Pijan, and Indi, they came in form. And we want that we should give any boon for this. But don't take my kingdom, only this thing. Then he began to laugh. And then Pigeon told that you are really embodiment of dharma and you will have, you will go to heavenly planets. Mali to this. How painful and how this thing. But he did. But it is also satkarmi. Nothing, no relation with her. You know Maharaj Harshendra. He gave, he sold his wife and son Rohit Ashra, and he also sold himself to a to uh, why Vishwamitra was a very high class of devotee serving Ram so much. He wanted that uh, Harishandra in Harishandra uh, Bans Parampara dynasty Oh, will come Ramchandra. So he should be a pure bhakta. Why he is so satkari? So for this, he took his all kingdom and everything and he had to 
himself off. And he, when he was uh, guarding Kashmashan Bhumi, criminal, then oh, a very poisonous snake oh, bite his son. And then he was dead. In the night, oh, her mother, his mother, sat there to to cremination. But her son was there. Oh, who is here? You cannot do anything without my parish tax. You should first pay the taxes. In the meantime, lightning. And he said, oh, this dead body is of my son and my wife is here. And he is crying. Oh, he was in dilemma what to do. But in the last he told, oh, you will have to pay some tax. There was nothing to pay. Then he <coughs> took half of his bill that he was wearing. And then told that you should pay. At once Dharmaraj and all came. And Vishwamitra also came. Or Rohitaswa will be the king. He will be set. At once he was set. And then he told that I took everything, so now I am returning everything. Now you should go to jungle, forest, and have performance, meditation, of course. But he is also Sadkarmi, not. But he wanted, he is trying to save Basi. So you should know all these activities are like karma and other things. We should be very careful for this, very bad. Then, you know, Ekalabya, there was a, what? Nishat, you Nishat, you know, hunters, like, very black and very tall. Went to the school of Pandavas and Kauravas, that teacher was Dhonacharya. And he requested that was oh, Dhonacharya, Gurudev. I want that you should teach me archery. He told, Who is your father? He told, I cannot give you. Please return back. He could not understand why he is telling. But Dhonacharya thought, Oh, if I will give archery, then he will hate Arjun and he will try to kill him, even to Krishna. Because he knew. He was a perfect guru, either by archery or other by devotion. Then, when he refused, then he returned back to a forest and made a statue of And here he was practicing. One day Dronacharya, with his all group, Karvas and Pandavas, uh, 105 devotees, he was coming. And at once a dog was barking. And one, at once, in a moment, they saw his mouth is full of arrows. And he cannot bark. And, oh, who did this? All were in wonder. They went forward and saw that, oh, very big and very black person, Nisha, was practicing that. He told, he did like this. He did so that all the arrows went in his mouth, but no strange anywhere. Oh, then the Dronacharya told, oh, to, from whom you learned all these things? Oh, Gurudev, you are my Guru. I have learned for you. Then, oh, if I am your Acharya, then give me some Dakshina donation. Because this is the thing that when a devotee will be perfect, a student, he should best pay some donation or Dakshina. Oh, what you want, I will get you. Then, 
Dronacharya told that you should give your right hand thumb by which it is done. At once, without delay, he cut his and gave it to Dronacharya. And he took it happily and why he did so? He knew they moved up that bogus hunter. He knew that he will. And at last first we came, though he was taken this, but even he was practicing and he began to fight with Krishna and Arjuna. But Krishna took his and at once he. So some devotees, they keep their disciples' name, son's name, ekalabhya, but they are ignorant. You should not do. Eklabo was not devotee. So you should judge by what thing? Anna Vilasita. This is the parameter of all these things. Vaisha. Now come Dhruva Maharaj. Tell some essence in two minutes, the life history of Dhruva. Or you can. Oh, let me. You should be ready for anything. Also be ready to have <laughs> Oh, if you're wrong. Oh Vakyan and Sabarandasya. Gyananjana Shalakaya Chaksura and Minatam Jina Tasmaya Shri Guru Vayana. Srila Gurudev has ordered me to speak a few words about Dhruva Maharaj and his bhakti measured against the verse on Yabilasita Shunyam by Srila Goswami. So we know Dhruva Maharaj was a young boy, about five years old. He was the son of King Uttanapad. His mother's name was uh, Suniti and his stepmother's name, co-wife of his father was Suruchi. These names are very indicative. Suniti means very nice uh, behavior. Niti means behavior, codes of conduct. So she was Su, very good, a dharmic wife. But Suruchi, Ruchi means taste. She had nice material, she offered nice material pleasures to the king, so she became the favorite wife. And that boy, her son, was sitting on the lap one day of King Otanapad. Dhruva came in and wanted also to sit on the lap of his father. But uh, Su Ruchi said, no, you cannot sit there. You are not the, you, in order for you to sit on the lap of your father, you must be born in my womb. So these words burned little Dhruva. He was Katriya. And he ran from the palace crying. He went to his mother. She said, yes, it's true, son. I am not the favorite wife. And he said, well, how can I get a kingdom like my father? And more than, more than my father. Uh, she said, well, I have heard that God will fulfill all desires. And he said, good, where is this God? Where can I find him? He said, well, I've heard sages, they find, they go to the forest to find God. So Dhruva, he went to the forest. There he was meditating very deeply. Uh, Lord Narayan sent Guru. Narad Muni came to this little boy. So one lesson here is that uh, we should have this kind of determination. Dhruv means determined. What became after? After yes. Narad Rishi, yes. initiation what became? Yes, then he be, after initiation he took mantra from Narad very seriously. For six months he was practicing, more and more adding austerity, stopping eat, drinking, eating, finally stopping breathing, so the much he became so uh, identified with his uh, meditation that he was controlling universal breathing and stopping the breathing of the demigods. They were praying, O oh, Lord Narayan, please uh, save us. And Narayan appeared before the Dhruva. So another lesson from this is that by our own effort we cannot become perfect. We will need the help of Guru. Another lesson is that Narada Muni has many types of disciples. So even he had a disciple like Dhruva who started out having some material desire. I want a kingdom greater even than that of my father, my grandfather, even my great-grandfather. His great-grandfather is Brahma. So even he wanted a planet greater. So even he had material desire, Narada gave him mantra. And at the end when he uh, had darshan of Lord Narayan, he was dumbstruck. As a little child, he became dumbstruck. <coughs> Lord Narayan touched him with his conch shell on the head, and then he offered beautiful prayers to the Lord. 
that now he felt very foolish that he was looking for some broken pieces of glass when actually he was getting this beautiful jewel of the Lord and he felt very shamed for having material desires. So we can judge by this verse, Anya Vilasitashunyam, that he was not Anya Vilasitashunyam. He had material desires. Uh, however, Anu Shilanam, he was Anu, he was Anugati, he was under guidance of Guru. So he was, this is mixed bhakti. It was karma mishra bhakti. Bhakti mixed with karma. And even though he gave up his fruitive desire at the end, still he had to accept the result. And he, be, he got a planet, a kingdom greater than uh, his uh, father. He got a Vaikuntha planet in this. First he had to serve for 30,000 years as king. 36,000 years as king. And then he was elevated to a planet uh, greater than Brahma, but within this material universe. So, and also at the end of his uh, reign of 36,000 years, when he was preparing to board the uh, Vaikuntha airplane that was sent for him, uh, he stopped, hesitated for a moment, and he looked around because, and he, he was asked, what, why are you hesitating? Oh, I'm wanting to know that my mother is all right, that she's also being benedicted. Oh, Without but, mother, I will not go there. Hmm? My mother should go there. My mother should my also come with me, and or else I will not go. So then they said, oh, but you look ahead. See, she's already going ahead of you in the uh, Vaikuntha airplane. So he was satisfied. So, but, so this also shows even he was very exalted, very determined devotee, still some pinch of material attachment and desire was there even at that stage. So we should learn, this is in fourth canto of Srimad Bhagavatam, as the cantos progress we will see uh, in our journey how bhakti becomes uh, more and more refined so that we can enter into the uh, pastimes of Krishna in tenth canto. So we should take from Dhruva his determination uh, to follow the order of the Guru very strictly and chant mantra properly and get the but we should not follow keeping these material desires in our heart. Hare yeah. Krishna. Do you want to the position of Dhruva and Bhakti like him? Why? Because I want to be with you, Gurudev. Oh. <laughs> but I don't like. You don't like me? No. <laughs> I don't like Dhruva Bhakti. You don't like Dhruva Bhakti, then I don't like Dhruva Bhakti oh. either, Gurudev. <laughs> yeah. oh. Yes, sir. You have heard the life history of Dhruva Maharaj, written in Srimad Bhagavatam. You sort of know that it was not out of Siddha Bhakti, neither it was Sangha Siddha. It was Sarup Siddha Bhakti. And his guru was highest class of Guru Narvelish. And that is why, due to the mercy of his guru, very soon in six months, before there is no record, even no record, that anyone can have in six months the darshan of Supreme Lord Narayan. But he saw. So, his guru is very high and his nistha was so strong. Even some came and told that, Narad himself came and told that, oh, some wild beast will eat you. You should go return back. And he saw, told so many reasons that you should. Now we are a very little, a small boy. Oh, you should not be like this. But I will have to meet with Hari, my brother. I must meet. Then So his bhakti is not uh, siddha neither. And Guru is bhi also. But what is what was there? Anna was there. And for that reason, without asking any bone, Naren appeared to him and told that, oh, you will be the king of whole universe that whole Prithvi for 36 years, uh, 36,000 years. But repentance comes at once because the 
the darshan of Krishna or Narayan is the mog. Infallible. Infallible. So something should be there. At once by one glance of Narayan is all these things like But he was bound to be the king of because he has given this bomb. So now he always repenting, always repenting. After this, if anyone is the disciple of any bona fide high class of guru, by his majestic power, supreme power, no, he will go to not heavenly planets, but uh, but he had something worldly. Even attached, he was attached to her mother. Why? Like Sitcha Guru, that she has helped me. So he was given that Vaikuntha Lok under is this Brahmanda. But one thing, why we don't like his bhakti, his position? Because he has, at first he has like that, motive like that. I should be king. Saranga Saranagati Hoi Dejaha Tahar Pratna. No, Asha Elaya Bhaje. Krishna Tare Nai Taje. Asha Blo. Okay. What is the meaning? Asha is Gurudev. Asha is Srimati Radhika, devotee. Those who will take shelter of any bona fide guru, Krishna Tare Nahi Taje. He will not give up. Anyhow, he will accept. He accepted, but from very far away. No service to Krishna. What service he had in that law? Dhruva law. Only moon and sun and all planets are what surrounding huh? moving in the center. So Dhruva Lok always in always in north. Always in north. That what is the meaning? This lok is oh, not uh, in world material, but it is transcendental somewhat. The abhas of transcendental, not pure. So he has no service, and bhakti means anna vilasita sunna anukulena krishna anusilanam. No krishna anusilanam. No service. So high class of Vaishnava in the line of Rupa Goswami they reject, and that is why in Brihad Bhagavatam this kind of bhakti of Dhruva. Uh, has not been mentioned. He has begun from where? This Uttama Bhakti? From Jnani Bhakta. Then Shuddha Bhakta. Then Jnanpar Bhakta. Uh, Premi Bhakta. Premper Bhakta. Prematma Bhakta. Up to this. Bhakta. And after that, no Bhakta. All associates of Parikar of Krishna. So, Sanatan Goswami has explained all these things in Brihat Bhagavatamri. Without the help of Brihat Bhagavatamri, you cannot be pure bhakti. Your bhakti cannot be pure, because you cannot decide what is bhakti. So, I am giving classes only from that. You should know everything. Some mixing of Rupa Goswami Raghunath. And that is why he is Sanatana is guru of Siddha Rupa Goswami. Now, Jnani Bhakti. What is the definition of Jnani Bhakti? And who is Jnani Bhakti? What are the speciality and what are defects?
<clears throat> so now we are at the stage of Gyani Bhakta. And here uh, we will mention that this is in the verse Anupriyena Krishnanu Shilam and Anya Bilashita Shunyam. This Gyani Bhakti is covered by Gyana. His bhakti is not pure. Or Uttama Bhakti. So such a example is in the life of Prahlad Maharaj. He was a Gyani Bhakta. I mean, I'll spare the long history of Prahlad Maharaj. We just had it in the Shringar Chaturdasi and we narrated the pastime of Prahlad and Rishingadev very much. So, <clears throat> although Prahlad Maharaj in the category of Guru also had Narada Muni as his Gurudev, as, as we heard that Dhruva Maharaj did. So Prahlad Maharaj, uh, although a very exalted devotee, and in the example of Krishna Smaranam, Prahlad Maharaj is the personification of remembering Krishna. Rama players should be ready. In ten minutes they should come. They should be ready. After ten minutes. And Prahlad Maharaj is also given as the example of how we should be more tolerant than a tree. And so many different uh, times when Lord, or excuse me, when uh, Hiranya Kashipu was harassing Prahlad Maharaj, throwing him from uh, big mountain tops, throwing him into uh, pots of burning oil, harassed by so many demons. Prahlad Maharaj was always meditating and remembering the, the Supreme Lord. His Ishtadev, however, was Vishnu. When he killed his father for harassing Hiran him so much, uh, killing Hiranyakashipu, then Prahlad Maharaj uh, pacified him and sat on his lap. Lord Narsingadev asked him for a boon. And we heard this narrated. So, Vlad Maharaj, although his Ishtadev was Lord Vishnu, he had no mamata or possessiveness, and it, uh, his anukul wasn't present, or his sevavriti wasn't progressed to the point where he decided, he wanted to offer Lord Narsingadev even a glass of water or massage his feet, etc. So, in this uh, verse of Srila Rupa Goswami Pad, although we uh, honor and respect and are taking so many different uh, instructions from the life and uh, service of and devotion of Prahlad Maharaj because he is covered by the Aishvarya Gyan or the knowledge of the Supreme Absolute uh, Personality but his possessiveness and Mamata and his Istadev as the uh, of, of, and ability to render intimate devotional service to the Lord is not present. Okay. Oh. We will try to explain all these things clearly in San Francisco. <clears throat> Today I will try to give more explanations about uh, Prahlad Maharaj and then Ambarish Maharaj. I think that we will finish up to there and very sweet drama play and be prepared to come to San Francisco. In three days classes, I will try to finish all these things that you can have a line of thought of these things. So I request you all, you can come there. One thing more, that uh, tomorrow we want to discuss about book distribution. Nishanta Prabhu, Rama, Radha Kanta Prabhu, Shamrani, all others, you, you should be there present and discuss how easily we can uh, distribute books. About night ten or about ten. <coughs> oh, you should do anything. And after that, Christmas does be ready. Bye.
भजले राधे कृष्ण भजले राधे कृष्ण भजले राधे कृष्ण भजले रे मनुआ राधे कृष्ण भजले Oh, 
Krishna, all the devotees here to Karanadam Diksha and went for Diksha today, they should come now at once and present their alms to Srila Gurudev. I'd, I'd like to make Hare Krishna. When when Srila Gurudev said that we need, we must understand this Fiat Bhagavad Tamrita if we want to enter into Bhakti. Uh, my Srila Prabhupada has also said the exact same thing in a purport to Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita. For those devotees who, everything is in Srila Prabhupada's books we know, including this. And that's what his Srila Narayan Raj is giving us. Srila Prabhupada has said, if we want to understand the full science of Bhakti Yoga, you must understand uh, fully the Brihat Bhagavad Tamrita. Thank you, Srila. <laughs> Hare Krishna. All the devotees, please pay attention. One important announcement. All the lectures here, all the lectures of Srila Gurudev here in Badger, Los Angeles, and San Francisco, they are going to be presented on DVD. The set will be available, obtainable from Isha Das Prabhu. You can order, if you want to order the complete set for LA, Badger, and San Francisco, you will get it for 50% of the normal price. Also, there are 60 DVD movies now available from Srila Gurudev's classes since he started to travel from 1996 onwards. Also, there are all the lectures, 600 in total, available on MP3 formats in DVD data disc. There will be more lectures available coming every month. Every month we plan to produce 30 more DVD movie lectures of Srila Gurudev's classes. Also there is one wonderful data DVD disc available with 290, 290 lectures and all the books of Srila Gurudev with a search engine. You can find this DVD disc at the table with Srila which Sri Isha Prabhu. Hare Krishna. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to take a, I want to take a call. I, I actually don't know. Are you good, sir? Today one, the vote you receive Diksha initiation. Very good, very good. I just did Pringles tickets. We request you to stand up. Nashinga Chaitanya Das Brahmachari. Nashinga Chaitanya, where are you? Hare Krishna. We have one request for Srila Gurudev's book publication and printing. We have a need of a vehicle to go tonight immediately to go to Los Angeles to pick up 220 songbooks and approve Essence of All Advice. We need to leave now. We'll have to go and screen the drama and come back tomorrow afternoon.
I thought it was first Rotterdam, then that place we went just uh, last year. Uh, Lions. 